Hotel Rexford. There was a reason I should go to the Hotel Rexford, wasn't there? I'll, I'll have a look. I can't remember why. Red, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Be hey available there. to the customers You're no wrong good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. It's not all about what do you think of the place? Chems, Claire? It's not all about sampling those chems either. It's changed a lot since the last time I was here. Been here before. What? Well, good There's neighbors fun, definitely okay. come up in you the past few years. It. Mostly My since soul. Hancock took over. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. Sound like Garris as well. What's the job? Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. Well, with all the bombs and all, does some asking around, and I think it might still be intact, which is where you come in. I assume this is a paying job. Of course. How about 200 caps and some of the beer? Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? This isn't exactly the safest neighborhood. What about hazard pay? Fair point. 300 caps plus beer. Are you going to take the job? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. Don't put you too much. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. Can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? The okay, I don't have questions. Bye. I just clean up around here. If you're going to be like that. I really want to do all the stealing. But I don't want Piper to think less of me. God damn it, Piper. And Sean. I mean, I want Sean to, you know, respect me. I grow up having good morals. Excuse me. What? No. It can't. It, 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 it's you. From Sanctuary Hills, right? Yeah, I'm from Sanctuary. What? You don't I remember do. me? I sold you that space in the vault. <laughs> but then I wasn't on the list to get in. But you, look at you. Two hundred years and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? Voltec never told me that. Unbelievable. I'm glad he didn't know. Otherwise, well, I would have to kill him. I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. I'm not going to apologize. Are there any other ghouls out there from before? You mean crazy can't and nothing bothers me, Daisy? Yeah, there's a couple of us, but no one from the neighborhood. No one from vault -Tec. He just left me there. Don't take this the wrong way, but you were pretty oh, wow. ugly before. You know... You're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I, oh God, I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. You weren't them after the war, would you? Hey, you know you could head back to Sanctuary. 
I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. That's just so I can keep an eye on him. Okay. Well, I remember now that's the reason I'm in the hotel. Because I was looking for the pre-war ghoul. Oh well, job done. I'm invited to Sanctuary. He seems like he's not all that terrible. That's who I want to go down sideways. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time. A flying ship. Yeah, I was a... Hey there. Get lost. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, apparently we're doing this. Joey. <laughs> Still in one piece. I can carry something if you need me to. Uh, maybe in a bit. I wasn't gonna, you know, bother them if they didn't bother me, but if they want to tangle. Oh, they, they murdered a drifter. That's that's why. Okay. Well, if you're gonna tangle, mate, you're gonna come off badly. Find it yet? What's the holdup? I got a lot of boxes, okay? Just hold on to your ass. It's like all I'm good for is waiting around. Huh. huh. Oh, I'll find you. Put the... No one here. Don't worry about it. It's all stealing still. My god. I guess maybe the warehouse belongs to someone else. Shit. Shouldn't Where'd that come from? Ain't very courageous of you. Think you know the score? <laughs> 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 oh no! I forgot I wasn't wearing armor, but. Hey, you find it yet? What's the holdup? I got a lot of boxes, okay? Just hold on to your ass. Oh, I'll find you. Shit, where'd that come from? What the? Nothing. Frady cat. Too scared. Don't worry about it. I. <laughs> You out. I'm Getting quite badly hurt, so give me a sec. I just need to eat some food. I love the sniper rifle. It's amazing. I don't think I'll ever play this game without a sniper rifle. It's just too good. Um, uh, I need stuff that's not got rad since it's cooked. Here we go. Crispy spiral bits. Iguana on a stick. Yeah, Over here. Tracks, why not? Uh, come out, Ow. Come out. Uh. Want to move out the way, Sean? We're in a bit of a firefight right now. Ah, I didn't know there's someone in here. Okay, but I can't pick up anything but stuff I get on bodies because everything nice is stealing. Cement shoes for you. Teacup. Where'd she go? Very tempting. Which one of you lost her, huh? Oh, 
Headshots. Normal for other journalists. I kind of like that. That's kind of fun. Uh, crispy girl bits. Iguana on a stick. Do, 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 do. Oh, crap. I just picked up a pistol. I didn't mean to pick up. Time for you to take the fall. Well, there we go. Whatever you dish out, I do your double. Jesus. Enjoy. <laughs> and that's how you do room clearance. <gasps> Still, it's it's stealing. <sighs> okay. Well, I think we made the neighborhood a little bit safer. And that's the important factor. Even if we're doing room clearance with 50 cal sniper rifle. Shh. It's a legitimate strategy. Right, let's go talk to that doctor. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about little old me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. You big flirt. Okay. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself. All right? Okay. You got a crush, Nick. Come on, come on, Nick. Oh, for God's sake. I will shoot you in the back of the head. Or, or the front of the head. I'm not picky. Come on, Nick. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this is a this social me? call. I assume these are like free and on the house. Coffee cup. Yes. Carrying too much and can't run. I don't mind. Dr. Mari, we're going to talk in a second. I just need to take everything that you're offering me for free. Because compulsive hoarder. And there was glue. I like glue. Also, Piper, Piper, we need to talk, and you're very close to Dr. Amari. It's going to be difficult. Speak up now. Piper, Piper. Oh, for God's sake, I'll talk to her. Fine. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Amari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. the cybernetic implant. This that dead might help. brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. 
And so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? I'm sorry, but you need an intact brain to do it. You need, you, you, it has to be living brain tissue. But please, please, okay, well, you know, all the rules of science I just explained, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll have a look. It's like, we should have just led with cybernetic. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... There we Wait. go. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Yep. Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. Oh, the hippocampus is I'm not surprised. The brain. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Nick's an older model synth. Is he still compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled hey, mercenary, you say pull the word. me. Just very quickly, just so I'm not like you know restricted by movement and stuff. Out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick going to be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? Oh, God. We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Sure. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Okay. Oh, dear. I've just been walking around with a 44 Magnum all the time. It doesn't matter. We're fine. Uh, but I'm going to end the episode here, and we're going to dive right into Kellogg's Memories via Nick. Which is going to be fun. Can I take Sean in as well? We could just put the kitty in. Get the kitty to do the memories. But anyway, until next time, if you like, if you like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing and stay shiny.